What's up everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. The Extinction DLC was released a couple of hours ago from the time of recording this, I'd say actually about an hour ago, and I've got a server up and running as I planned. So I'll put the server IP on the screen now, there it is, that is what you need to enter in order to join the server. However, all of the rules are in Discord and I have just realised that I have no game sound. So I need to fix that. Can't be loading in without any game sound, that's not good. There we are. Right, let's mess with our settings here quickly. Welcome back everybody to Ark Extinction. Oh dear, that does not like us. What was that? I don't know. But yay, here we are, the DLC has finally come out. And it looks like the map is a bit of a cross between I'd say aberration in the island, maybe, because we've got all these structures and everything that we found on aberration. But it also seems to be relatively outside. So going into this, I know very little about... What is that? Hello, what are you? Defense unit. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to want to kill me, which is always a nice change in up. Oh, now that does not look friendly. That looks like something that will try and kill me. Let's go and see it. Where is it? Hello. Are you friendly? <gasps> You're friendly. It's it's an enforcer. Oh, this is it's another mech. Animation looks a bit weird. And we got some compies as well. Ah, now there's multiple companies, they'll try and kill us. Well, I just want to take a minute to look around. All right, we've got our standard Triceratops here. All right. Can we interact with this? Ooh, we can. A city terminal. Um, element dust. Uh, oh, we can craft an enforcer. And we can craft a scout. Okay. So make element dust from decomposing a single element. Okay, so I wonder if we'll be able to actually farm element anywhere. Let's have a look. So these are the things that we'll be able to craft and let's, let's just punch it and see what happens. Okay, it does not like that. Do not annoy the enforcers. Their name is no joke. Right, need to check. Yeah, the game sound is recording. Perfect. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Ah, I think that is the one that just killed us. Yes, it is. Was there anything in our inventory? Nah, just some skins. Right then, a bit more about the server. We are playing on a two times XP, three times taming, and two times gather rate. So you're going to be able to get yourself set up pretty fast. We also have a six person tribe member limit and what's that noise coming from? that sounded like a rocket being launched that was so cool so as I was saying we have a six man tribe limit and it is a PvP server so PvP is permitted all the time however base raiding can only happen make sure you listen to this you're only permitted to do base raiding on Friday Saturday and Sunday. So it starts at 6 p.m. BST, which is 6 p.m. British Standard Time or British Summer Time, one of the two. And it ends at midnight BST on a Sunday. Okay, so for some reason the Triceratops does not like the harmless little giant Pokeball thing. Ooh, you know what? Let's take a look at what new engrams have added in. So that's the Extinction. Uh, extinction only. Right, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22 new engrams added in with this DLC. So that looks pretty cool. Now, there was a dodo. Here it is. Let's get ourselves a dodo tamed. So, those of you that are watching that might be completely new to my to arc on my channel, you can tame dinosaurs and you can tame almost everything. So how you do that is you knock them out with lower level, thi well, kind of weaker things. You knock them out by just punching them. 
and then you feed them. So I gave it berries in its inventory, and each time it eats a berry, the taming bar goes up. So as you can see there, one berry got my level one dodo to 38% tamed. Right, so I think this here is a female dodo. It is. Right. Now, interestingly, if I tame male and a female dodo, I can actually breed the dodos. Uh, where's my dodo? There it is. I will actually be able to breed dodos and get baby dodos. However, I could also make kibble with their eggs to, cha to tame pteranodons, which are giant birds. Right, oh yeah, and there's this that you can do. You can pick up dodos. This is so cool. Right, let's start by upping our weight a bit. So weight does go up by 30 per point that you put into it. There we are. And there we are. We have two dodos. But I'm not going to make them follow me. I'm just going to leave them there for a minute and see if I can grab a bit of fiber and actually try and get myself some cloves on the way. Because it does not feel secure running around naked. Although that is most of what you do in this game. Nah, it's not. That's only like the first start of the game. Now I'm going to want to pickaxe. So we need thatch and we need stone. Uh, I have not played this game since about January. It feels really nice to be getting back into it. Right, that's enough thatch. And a stone. Perfect. There we go. Let's get ourselves one of them. And let's equip these. Perfect. You know, let's put a skin on it as well. Oh, you know, tester hat? Nah. Okay, so we've got 160 weight at the moment. I think that's good. Let's start upping our health a bit. And look, there's a dodo egg. Right, you two, you should be safe there. You'll be alright on your own for a minute. Right, I need to get myself kitted out. Now, I wonder if we can farm these lampposts. Are they breakable? <gasps> oh my god, they are. They give you element dust. That is incredible. Okay, so for those that don't know, element is a major thing in this game. Okay, they don't give you very much, but that is still more than you were able to get by farming beforehand. Ow! Compies, not friendly. What is that? Not sure. Now, I think the compies are still following me, so I'm going to try and get on top of this. safe up here? Yeah, they're coming after us. Right, let's try and make a spear. Uh, what do we need? Ah, flint. And we need water too. Right, I'm just going to run to the lake over here. Wait, is this a lake or is this a river? I don't know because I have not completed the map yet. Nowhere near. There we go. Right. So we need to get some flint. You know what? I'm going to run around in third person. Why not? There we go. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stop trying to kill me! I'll beat you with a stick! Well, it's not even a stick, it's a pickaxe. It's one down. Right, this is a lot easier to do in first person. Right, there's two dead. I don't know what that third one did. I, I think it just ran off. It might come back, I'm not sure. Right, let's get that on our hotbar. So what you're going to want to do, you can take your hatchet and you're going to farm these with a hatchet to get hide. If you farm them with a pickaxe, you'll get meat. But it's mainly hide that I need at this point. Right, let's um, farm some more of these bushes down. What I would like to do... Oh, here we go. It would be nice to try and get a... Um, oh, wrong thing. It would be nice to try and get a Triceratops tamed. Or at least something I can ride. Oh, hang on. You know what? This terminal thing over... Ooh, what's this? Okay, so you're going to need a metal pickaxe to farm that thing. Right, this terminal here. City terminal. Now. Scout? Nah, we want this thing. Okay, so that is going to still take a lot of stuff before we can get that. And a little while till we can get that as well. Okay, so, hmm, I don't want to build right in the starting area. I would like to go and look around a bit. 
But I think, you know, what I can do, let's see if I can make myself, there we go, sleeping bags. How many of these can we make? Just one. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's get ourselves a sleeping bag. In theory. Come on. There we go. That's one sleeping bag. And what do we need for more spears? We're going to need wood. Okay, so one cool thing that you can do, you can put the engram, the blueprint, on your hotbar. And then as you gather the resources for it, you just press that number of your hotbar and you craft it. So we're currently making three more of them. Right, so that's a scout thing up there. We want to go and look around this map because this is a big map and we have seen barely any of it so far. So we have spawned right in the heart of the map. So, what do you say? We go over land but don't deliberately hit anything or encourage anything to kill us. And if we find somewhere we like, what I'll do is I'll put down my sleeping bag. And that means if I die, I'll be able to respawn at it. Ooh, what are these? Okay, it's just normal berries, but a nice different texture. Ooh, there's a uh, Megaloceros there, a deer. Now, a deer saddle, I remember correctly, that does take metal to make. So it's going to be a while before we can get one of them on the way. Let me take a quick look at our engrams quickly. What kind of blueprints can we saddles can we get? We could get a Fiormia saddle, that's a giant pig. So it might be worth taming one of them if, them if we see them. There's also a turtle and a parasaur. All of which are relatively easy tames. Right, issue would just be finding them. Ooh, that there, that's a tapajara. They are some of the coolest flyers in the game. But really hard to tame because they, as soon as you go near them, they fly away. So what you have to do is throw a bowler at them to kind of trap them in place so they can't fly. And then shoot them with trank arrows to knock them out. Okay, so it looks like one of the giant mecha crabs is fighting something. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. This here is a parasaur. That tall thing. Ah, and these are more compies. Let's just try and kill these before they get up to us. And getting a bit more hide will be good too. There we go. And I did just poop on the floor. Sorry about that. Can I? There we go. Right, let's check the level of this. Right, that's just a level 11. That'll be... Ooh. They are mean things over there. You do not want to be messing with those. Right, let's eat up. Make sure our food is pretty high. Now, can we learn a slingshot? Yes. That will make this so much easier. Instead of trying to knock it out by punching it. And let's get a second one of them. Right, we are going to need some more stones. But there should be some rocks around here. That we can just harvest. Yeah, some right there. Right, let's try and tame ourselves a parasol then. They are a very weak mount, but they're good for gathering berries and really good for just nice early game transport. Right, that'll be enough to knock it out. Now, they are quite fast, unfortunately, so... Trying to knock anything out with a slingshot is really difficult, especially when your slingshot decides it doesn't want to draw back. Okay. Let's see if we can... Is it lost aggro? Or is it just still running? Nope, it's still running. It is all the way over there. Okay. Ooh, right. Okay. Those there, they are called... Oh, I can't remember. My brain's gone numb. They've got a specific name and... We are about to find out what that name is. Corrupted. They are corrupted dinosaurs. So this map, everything has all gone bad. Everything's corrupted. It's all tainted and purple. Come on. Help us, Triceratops. But the corrupted things aggro on you on sight. And they are mean. They are strong. And they just want to eat your face. Don't go near them. They're not very nice. Right, let's spawn in one of these other areas. Let's go for the upper sunk and forest. Let's have a look at this area. Yes, I know I've left my dodos behind. They'll be fine over there, don't worry about them. 
They're in the relatively safe spawn area. So hopefully nothing will get them. But you did see how long it took me to tame them. Ooh. That was cool. It was a nice little mirage. Okay, this doesn't look much like a forest to me. I may be proven wrong. Eh. Kind of. Not really, though. But what is all this stuff on the floor? Can we do anything with this? No. Hmm. I wonder where this goes. Because this looks like the sort of place that would possibly be a more endgame building location. Right, it is getting quite dark. Can I... Oh, I cannot adjust my gamma in-game. That is a problem. Right. I might have to just sit around and wait until daytime if it starts getting too dark on the recording. I can hear running water. I think it might be just around here. Yes! Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. So we can actually see up out to the surface there. And that is why it's called a sunken forest. What's the time in game? Ah, it is only half three in game. So it's just so dark because we're in the cave. This place is beautiful. Now, are there any secret hidden tunnels back here? It looks like there might be a path through here, but I could be wrong. I was, in fact, wrong. Right. So is this supposed to be just a really nice building spot? Because it is. This looks like an incredible place to build. It looks like it'd be hard to get dinosaurs up here to attack your base, but also hard to get your own ones up here. However... They have added Pokeballs to the game. So what you can do is you store your dinosaur in this tech ball thing. Oh, that's disappointing. It is really dark on the recording side. Let me see if I can up the gamma. Properties. Uh, no, I can't. That's a shame. Yeah, I can't increase the gamma on the recording, unfortunately. So we'll just have to try and find out a slightly brighter area. But before that, why is there nothing alive here? Is it a sign that there's just mean things here somewhere? Or have they not finished working on this area and not added any spawns yet? Because that's what it's starting to feel like. I think that takes us down to the forest floor. And that takes us up into... Ooh, we might be able to get above ground if we go this way. Let's grab some of these whilst we can to eat up in case we get hungry. But let's see where this takes us. Oh, and we're really tired. Right. That looks so nice. Really not sure what the weird dust streams are, though. They are kind of weird. Oh, now that looks very angular up there. I'm not sure if that's a another one of the man-made structures, maybe? Right, let's get our stamina back. Get a full set of stamina back. And Oh, I did just eat a bunch of stimberries and narco berries. So I might have just made myself pass out. In that case, let's just run, get as far as we can before we fall asleep. Hopefully we won't fall asleep. You know what, we're going to fall asleep as soon as we see something mean. Nah, Torpidity is going back down again already. Perfect. Right, so yeah, this looks like another man-made structure up here. Yeah, this looks odd. Can it be mined? No, neither can the floor. This is all very, yeah, interesting. It definitely is not what we know and love of Ark. Not saying it's not going to be good, but it's just different. Right. I am a little bit concerned about the complete lack of just anything here. There's nothing alive. No dead bodies either. I've got a horrible feeling that once it turns night in game, things are just going to spawn up out of the ground and try and kill me. Throw back to the uh, aberration there. 
I hated those little creatures. I can't actually remember what they're called now. Nameless, that was it. A thing called Nameless would spawn, and they were basically the gremlins from the film Gremlins. They'd spawn up out of the ground, and they would just destroy you. They were so powerful. Right. I think we're most likely to die of thirst before running into any form of... Uh, we found the surface! That's why there's a spawn point here. It leads out to the surface. Now, if I'm not wrong, I believe that this is actually the desert that we're heading into. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Let's, uh... Drink up a load of these, try and increase our water a bit. Doesn't look like it's actually increasing it though. Oh well, let's just run face first out into the desert. I'm sure we won't instantly get too hot and start to burn to death. There we go, we're hot. Our food's decreasing, we're thirsty. Right, I see green over there. But I still see no living things. Like, where are the enemies? There's just nothing here. Where is it all? I swear the map should not be this... Just this... Quiet. Here we go. Nice river that should uh, sate our thirst a bit. Unless it's poison. Looks like poison. Anything alive in the river? No. Hmm. Now this is definitely starting to feel a bit odd. Right, now do we go up that way? Or do we go that way? I kind of want to see if there's... Oh, I think this is the giant waterfall we were near earlier. I think this is the top of it, where it starts. Let's go and have a look. Ah, oh, I have just jumped in here at zero stamina. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be looking at really anything. Because I'm going to die, I believe. Unless I can manage to somehow get my head above the surface of the water. Looks like those rocks there might be a nice ramp to bounce off of. Nah, it's not looking good, is it? Came all this way. Just to die of thirst seconds before getting a good view. Typical. Just typical. Come on. Let me out. I want to just look. Oh wait, I can go. K mode. K mode. Can I see? Oh no. Oh. Damn. So close. And yet so far. Right. Let's go for... What should we try this time? Desert East. There we go. Then we've got a nice diagonal across the map. And we'll see what we can find here. See if there is actually anything living around here. Ah, oh, you've just woken up. Right. I can see a Lamantria over there. That wiggling thing in the distance. That is a giant moth. Oh. That is a Lamantria as well. I love them. They are so cool. But look at how beautiful this desert is. You can even see the heat ripples off in the distance. This is amazing. Seriously, kudos to the devs. They did a brilliant job on making this map. And now we're going to ruin it by building all over it. Here we go. We've got a Dimetrid on here. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go have a look at the waterfall. Ah, oh, look at it. This is what was missing from Scorch Stuff. Beautiful waterfalls. So this map was made by the devs that made Ragnarok. And you can clearly tell by just how amazing it looks. Right, we've got another level up. That's going in stamina. Let's see what a Morellatops. Uh, let's have all of these enabled. Uh, 
Morella tops. Learn on Scorch Turf. Now, that's a problem because we should be able to unlock all of the engrams on this map. Because they will spawn on this map. So maybe I just need to be a bit higher level and it will let me. Now, if I am remembering right, these guys run away when you attack them. But look at these. They're giant camels. They are absolutely lovely. But let's find out if they run away or attack. Okay, I was wrong. They attack. Time to go. Ah, giant rock. Ow! Ooh, what's that? No! I want to go and look at the green stegosaur! Let me see the pretty thing before you kill me! Please! Look at it! It's a... Is that a bionic stegosaurus? Wild male tech stegosaur. Oh, that looks cool. Hey, hey, they lost aggro. Yeah, if you run away from something for long enough, they lose aggro on you. Right, now... I wonder if... Nah. I'm not going to pick up the Stegosaurus egg. That is just recipe for a disaster. Ooh. There's a sc scorpion body there. Right. So there's definitely spawning stuff here. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of really want to live in the desert. Because this place looks awesome. Let's see if we can get up to a little bit of high ground. Hopefully we're not going to run into any rock golems. That there, I think, is a rock golem. Are you a rock golem? Nope, you're just a normal rock. Okay. This is incredible. I love the just new map feeling in this game. But you look at it. Oh, look at that. If screenshots are made for anything, it's this place. I wish there was a way I could hide my hands. Um, what is it? F12 to take a screenshot? There we go. Oh, it just looks so amazing. I can't get over how good this map looks. I know I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, but... Oh, there's a horse. Right. We don't need a saddle in order to ride a horse. We can just tame a horse. What you do is you want to put the berries in the last slot in your inventory, and you go up to the horse. Right. We're going to try and get ourselves a horse here. And then we can run through the desert on a horse with no name. Feels good to be out of the rain. In the desert. You can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to stop singing. Right, need to be careful because there is an Allosaurus over there. And we do not want the horse to walk towards it. But could do with getting more berries than what we've got now. Now obviously the best thing to tame them with is carrots. But clearly haven't got any carrots yet. Right. Can we... There we go. 12. Now, depending on the level, 12 might be enough. Let's try and tame this. Please do not run towards that Allosaurus. Hey, horsey. Ah, you got to be level 10 to tame a horse. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Right, hopefully it's not going to run into the... Yeah, good, it's running across the water. Right, what level are we? We are... We are 7. All right. So I think I actually want to live in the desert because this place is just so good. Right. Now, I could do with finding some little stones on the ground. Pebbles. Pebbles. Where did the horsey go? I think that might be it over there somewhere. Possibly. It, there's a split second where you can see perfectly normally. There we go. Right, so yeah, we're going to need to get some sort of tame so we can just cross those waters a little bit easier. But, I need some stones. Where are all the stones at? Right, you know what? I'm going to end off video here, gather together everything I need to tame something, try and level up a bit, and get myself a few building, building materials all gathered together. 
So, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, join the server. Discord link will be in the description. And I will see you next time. And where is it? Goodbye.